TFNN Headline News Update. Good morning, everybody. I'm Tommy O'Brien coming to you live from TFNN headquarters in St. Petersburg, Florida, 9 a.m. Eastern Time on Monday morning, 30 minutes to go until the opening bell. And we got markets starting off to the positive side. I'll get those charts up there. S&P futures right now up 10 points, trading at 3,030. We may get a new S&P high to start off the trading week. NASDAQ futures up 32 points, trading at 8,068. Dow futures up 113, trading at 27,017. Ten-year yield, 1.84%. Quite a little pop there. Oil trading at about 56.57 and gold backing off a bit. We'll start things off. Let's get into the charts. We'll start it off with the indices and we'll start it off with the S&P. There's your acceleration. Three, excuse me, 3,033 right now in the S&Ps, even catching a little bit of a pop in the last half hour. NASDAQ 100, also at pre-market session highs, 8,077. You can see where we closed the week out last week and back it up on the S&Ps as well, closing things out at about 3,020. Dow 30 trading higher as well, 27,037. Still in earnings season, we got AT&T, we got Walgreens, we have some takeover news this morning. Crude oil jumping around a bit, quite a week for crude last week, almost made it to $57. Right now, trading at $56.68. There's your gold contract backing off a bit. Decent week for gold last, last week as well. Early this morning, gold was trading at 1510. Gold now right at 1500 on the dot. And the euro US dollar just spiked to 111, now just under that level at 110.86. In terms of what else you have happening over the market, Tiffany's getting a buyout offer from LVAMH. That's Louis Vuitton. $14.5 billion acquisition offer. The interesting thing about this, that offer coming in at $120 a share. Tiffany trading up to almost $129, so the market pricing in that they may have to up that bid. AT&T agreeing to pressure from activist investor Elliott as they have a three-year plan to sell off some assets to pair some debt. And then you also have, how about it? It's not often that we get the first space tourism stock going to be trading on the NYSE Virgin Galactic. Talk about a, a sign of things to come. And Walgreens coming out with their earnings as well, topping expectations while store closures weigh on profitability. Jumping over to a couple of those charts, we'll start it off with Walgreens, excuse me, WBA, Walgreens Boots. That stock looking open higher, 55.92. AT&T this morning opening higher as well, 37.77. Not bad. Stay tuned, folks. Larry Pesavento coming up right now. We'll be back at 10 o'clock with Tom. Have a great Monday.